Hi hey everyone, how you doing? Right, today we're cooking. Bloody hell, it's cold with that window open. Hang on. I've decided I'm going to make Jamaican beef patties. Uh, never made them before. Let's get light on. Never made them before, so I thought we'd give it a crack. Um, I'll tell you what prompted me to do this. One, uh, Dreadlocks girl who watch, or gal who watches um, the channel, um, she prompted me because we were talking about doing curried goat, rice and peas, but um, can't buy goat up in Barnsley, so I've had to go for the patties. The only reason why I chose to do them today, I was going to do them a few weeks back and then I forgot, but I was watching Chris the Butcher this morning. If you've seen his channel, he's hilarious. He's an old man, he does reviews of like, well, food. <laughs> Anyway, he reviewed this patty this morning that I think he got it from Asda or something. Uh, <laughs> and he said it smelt like ass. <laughs> One of those cheap ones, you know. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Chris has prompted me to uh, have a crack at making me own. Um, so, we're going to need a bowl, as always. The ingredient for the pastry, I'm going to split it into two. We'll do, we'll do it bit by bit because I need to do the meat filling in a bit, right? But... 250 grams of plain flour, 100 and, I've had to guess because my bloody, my scales are broken, but that's 115 grams of butter, I think. And then on this plate, you've got a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of gram masala, and a teaspoon of salt. We're also going to need some cold water, but we'll do that once we've done the rub. So I think what I'm going to do is literally just sling it all in. Um, and get cracking. I'm just going to give that a bit of a stir, stir them spices in. So this turmeric and the gram masala is what gives the pastry the colour, because they're that beautiful yellow colour, aren't they? Um, and also um, gives it a bit of a curry type taste. So let's get the butter in. I'm going to just add um, my machine there in the background right so to make pastry the easiest way jesus is rock hard that butter and you know what i've got a right pain um in the left arm i've had it for weeks now i used to have it in my right arm as well i think what it is uh, let me move that around there so you can see what i'm oh jesus christ i think what it is is uh because where i live now i have to park my car at the bottom of this hill and i have to walk up with this shopping and I think the weight of the shopping because literally I'll uh, I'll just carry like three or four bags because it's right steep hill so I just think just get up the bleeding hill with the stuff and you're done but I think what it's done is it's put like pressure you know on my arms um, so if I've got any heavy shopping now I have to drive up take it out then park the car back down the bottom and then walk up it's a bit of a bit of a nightmare really but anyway so what's been going on so if you watched the channel yesterday you'll have seen what were i saying so yeah yesterday um i went and got hypnotized to stop drinking because i don't like the fact that since lockdown during lockdown since lockdown and moving here i've been drinking more than i think i should so i don't have a dependency on it physically but like the habit with her you know like it's looking like this so far i've got to get it to breadcrumbs yeah the habit with her um you know like a bottle of wine at night and stuff watching telly and then it's just not good you know what you're better off doing with this actually not doing it by hand i, I was going to buy a food mixer in tesco before and I thought, no, but it, oh, it hurts my hands when I do it because you're trying to rub this bleeding butter. It's all my wrist. So it's going to be a patty, chips and corn on the cob when I've done this. Right, I think we can get the water in that now. So we just get some water from the tap. Yeah, so anyhow, I, um, I'm just going to pour a bit of water in a bit at a time and use the spoon to stir it up so we can get it into a you know a thing and then it's got to go in the fridge while I cook the mince but yeah uh, so anyway I went to Tesco this morning and usually what I do um, is I'll you know, nip down I'll get a bottle for later on it day when I fancy a drink anyway I'm going to have to get my hand in here none of that, none of that today at all honest to god, just didn't even think about it, didn't even think 
about going down the beer aisle. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely. I'm just had to put a bit of flour in because I put too much water. Absolutely amazing, everybody. Can you actually see what I'm doing there? Oh, dear. So, what we need to do with this now, I'll show you the pastry. It's got like that yellow colour. Beautiful, actually, that. I'm going to get it in a bowl now and then put it in the fridge. And, uh, and then what I'll do is I'll come back we'll do the meat sauce and then we'll get it rolled out and get them cooked exciting so that's what it looks like um i'll come back when i've got the meat right everybody so we're moving on to the meat bit uh where's the thing right so we're gonna go through ingredient so you need a teaspoon of garlic a teaspoon of chili i've also chopped up some red bird's eye chilies because i want them quite chilly <laughs> Uh, three spring onions right and i cocked up a bit because this is my onion and pepper and i thought oh just stick it in here and it's turned it to like a well a mush but that's fine because it's going in with me anyway i didn't want it it would do it too chock it chumpy and i didn't want it to poke through the pastry you've got 500 grams of i got lean five percent steak mince and then you've got a teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of gram masala. So I think we're just going to crack on now and sling everything in pan. I think that's pretty much... So I need some oil. I think I'm going to use some ground nut oil. Shit. <laughs> just be washing. Just be washing collapsing off the drainer. Um, it says use uh, vegetable oil, but I ain't got any, so we'll have to use ground nut, which is fine. Uh, and then, I think what we do is we'll literally just stick it all in. So, we'll start with the meat, because the, um... Oh, that's unusual, look. Usually in the meat, you get like a thing on the bottom, don't you, for it to drain. Not got one. Um... So, we need to cut this, cook this down now. So, it's all browned off. And then it's what we're going to do then is get the get the pastry out, uh, make them basically, and then put them in the oven for 20 minutes. While I'm doing that, I'll cut the chips and uh, the um, what's it called? The corn on the cob in the in the in the air fryer. And uh, yeah, jobs are good then. So I think at this stage I'm going to put other spices in, just get them going. Should I use the other pan? Just swap the pans, hang on. Yeah, that's better. So let's have a look here. So I think, let's add. Let's get the onion in. I think just sling it all. I think that's. I think that's what we're gonna do. Right, I want some chili now. So I strong this chili. You can get it from B and M for like seventy p or something. It's dead cheap, but really, really good. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna put light on actually because cats. You can see, but not like CC. Oh god. Right. So let's just, I'm spilling it everywhere. Let's just give this a blast round. I don't think you need to watch me min brown some mince, do you? I'll, uh, I'll get it cooked and then I'll come back and we'll put them all together. Eh? How about that? I mean, literally all I've got to do now is just brown it off. So I will come back once it's browned. Right, so I forgot an ingredient. So just to show you what the meat's looking like. So that's like pretty browned, but what you have to do according to this recipe that I'm working on, is you have to put some stock in and let it simmer for 15 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start rolling out the, well no, I'll, give it, I'll do the pastry when this is cooked. I think that's the best thing to do. So we'll pull the stock in. And then where's that the spoon? Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, like I said, I'm just going to leave it for 15. But the camera's steaming up. Let that beef stop cooking to that. 
and then I think we'll come back and uh, do filling. Well, put it together basically. Right, let's get this. Let's get this bugger rolled out. So yeah, we don't want it too thick because it's supposed to be crispy, aren't they? Um, and I was fortunate enough to go to Jamaica a few years back. Well, actually, it was a long time ago. It was just after September the 11th. It was actually in the November. And uh, the flight was horrendous. Um, we nearly crashed. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. We flew. I think I've told this story before, but I'll tell you again while I'm rolling this out. So we flew from Manchester with one of my ex-boyfriends. And he'd, he'd wound me up for weeks prior, showing me stuff on YouTube, like all these air uh, crashes and stuff. Anyway... On the day that we went, I think we went with her to us, and on the day that we went, um, the weather were really bad all the way there, we were terrified, it was all turbulent constantly. Anyway, when we got there, um, we were basically circling in this plane, I need a plate now, so that to, oh frick, what we're going to use, I'll use that, yeah, we were circling in this plane, and uh, so now we're cutting circles out. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good talk today, am I? Yeah, we're circling in this plane and um, all of a sudden it just went. <laughs> it just went like a lead brick. It were absolutely terrifying. And everybody on board was screaming, apart from me. I, could, I, I couldn't scream. Just the no noise had come out of my mouth. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, but there was a couple sat across the way and they were just so relaxed, like not bothered. I think they were eating a butty while the plane were plummeting. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it weren't the best. Right, so there's two discs. I'm just going to put them over here a minute because I need to roll this, roll this out again. I think I'm going to do the other ones actually. Let me just get that out. The, oh no, I've got three there. I'm going to get that out of the fridge. I'm going to cook them all, because I can freeze them then as well. Do you right, know what I mean? it. We're going to put the pa the pasties, or the patties, together. Um, and what I've decided to do is just to do it on this plate. I think I might put a bit too much filling in that. I think I might have spoon some out. Because we've got to seal it yet. I'm going to end up with loads of filling, I know that. So what I'm going to do now is pull that over. Yeah, there's too much. Yeah, there's too much filling in there. But trial and error. We'll leave it as it is because I think with it being forked closed, it should stay together somewhat. I'm going to put a bit less filling in this next one. We just wipe that up. Lots and all in it. What's you know what I mean? You can't you can't be perfect, can you? Straight away, you've got to got to try and work it out, haven't you? I think that's better. Or is that just the same amount? <laughs> no, still too much. What's going on, Sarah? I think I need to use the spoon to spoon it in. These are going to burst open. These, but it don't matter. It don't matter. So let me get spoon it instead. Do, 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 do. We'll get there. Third time lucky. Right, let's have another go. Right. Spoon the mixture in this time. You know that there's plenty of mince left, so you know what I might do? I'll probably save that. What's left? Yeah, we've done it this time. I'll save what's left and uh, I think I'll make some buy some peas to go with that tomorrow. Still too much filling Sarah, what are you playing at? <sighs> don't matter does it? <laughs> you saying it don't matter. <laughs> Right, let's just try that much because it, it's just too much. That's a bit better. Can you actually see what I'm doing? 
that's better. So we want one spoonful. I don't know if it was a mistake putting the filling in hot. I don't. I, just, I should have read the recipe properly because it seems to be breaking through the pastry. Um, but I'm sure it'll toughen up in the oven. I'm just going to brush them with egg very quickly and then fire them in the oven. I hope I haven't cocked up here by putting them in hot. They're going to be nice these, you know. I'm going to have to freeze some because I won't eat all these. It's impossible. Right, get them in the oven. Right, so they're going in at 180. It's on 180. Close. That's what they look like inside. Right, okay, I'll come back when they're cooked. Right, everyone, the timer's just gone off. Don't know if they're going to need a bit longer. But let's just, uh, let's just drag them out, because it says 20 to 25 minutes. I think it's done about 20. Feel quite tough, so I think we're all right there. I'm going to bring them over. Look at these, then. So... You know, I don't think they're too bad at all. I thought they were going to burst out. That one's leaked a bit. Well, this one, I think that's the one I'm going to eat. <laughs> or maybe that one. Um, let's get them out on the plate with the chips. Right, everyone. We need some uh, salt and vinegar on them chips. Um, and then we'll get the uh, we'll get the patty cut open. And uh, where's that bleeding salt? Oh, there it is. Right then, should we have a look inside it? See what we're dealing with. I do actually have had a bleeding fork. On it drainer. Now let's cut it in half then. The pastry seems pretty decent. Think of that then. You can see the red pepper, We've got the chilli there. Let's give it a let's give it a whirl. It's all falling apart. The pastry's quite dry, which is good news. So let's see. Clap for You know what? They're really nice. The pastry is very light because I rolled it really thin. Um, I would have liked more chilli. It's not very, very hot. However, I don't believe patties are like ridiculously hot. And they're spicier than that and I think next time I'll definitely get... Obviously, they have Scotch bonnie in, don't they? So, but yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty decent. That's the rest of them. <laughs> so... Don't know how they're, they're going to get out. I'm going to let them cool down and then probably put some in, in the freezer and freeze them. Um, but yeah, I'm hungry now, so I'm going to go and scoff this and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs>